All right, guys, Battle in Birdland, test two. And for this one, we got a lot of work happening in the gym, but guess what? We're going outside too. So three, two, one, go. Athletes are gonna begin with 100 double unders for the RX or 100 single unders for scaled. They can split these however they want. So let's say Mike wants to go first. He begins his double unders for RX or again, single unders for the scaled. And let's say he's like, you know what? 10's enough, I'm gonna move on. Mark jumps in at any point. It's 100 between the two of you. Good, go ahead and rest. If you have an athlete who's better at them or you just don't wanna do any double unders, you don't have to, okay? Somebody can do all the work, you can split them however you want as long as one person is working at a time. We'll continue over to the wall for 20 handstand push-ups for the guys, 10 for the ladies, and for the scaled, it's gonna be 20 hand release push-ups for everybody. For the handstand push-ups, we're gonna use that tape line like we had utilized before for the open. Head hits the deck, he's gonna lock it out. You can do them strict or you can do them kipping. And again, if you have an athlete who is maybe a little more efficient at them, uh, or just maybe a little more fresh or wants to do more reps, you can absolutely do that. You may split them up however. An athlete doesn't have to do any. So you guys can decide how you wanna figure that out. After the 20 or 10 handstand push-ups or those 20 hand release push-ups, then we're gonna move on to 30 chest-to-bar pull-ups. Mike's gonna demo a chest-to-bar pull-up here, getting that chest in contact with the bar, resetting at the bottom. It's gonna be 30 ring rows for the scaled athletes, and we will have an exact ring row standard that we'll go over on site that day for those scaled athletes. Again, they can split those however they want. Totally doesn't matter, one person working at a time, somebody can do all, you can split them as desired. Once the work is completed, at that point, both athletes are going to advance to their band, and we're gonna perform banded runs. Now, we'll have a course set up. You'll have some tape marks and some arrows, um, but what we have going on here is an inside outside track. So if you are starting in this square, for example, where we, we are, moving into this area is going to be our running lanes. They're gonna hold onto the band the whole time. You must remain in the lane. You've gotta remain holding the band the whole time. Dropping the band, throwing the band, losing the band, stepping outside of your lane will give you a five second penalty. They're looping around and then they're gonna head out the door and all the way out. And you can see there is gonna be a cone all the way out there. Looping around and coming back in is going to be one lap. They would go to that far cone. They're coming back in, they're staying to the right. The track will continue onto the inside. They would advance and they would continue all the way around. They would do that. Now you just saw them run partial lap. That's one lap. They would go around twice for 200 meters, three laps for 300 meters, four laps for 400 meters. The running lanes, you guys can pause, will be different depending on the lane you start, but the distance will be the same. So let's say that they are in this lane doing their handstand push-ups and pull-ups and double unders. And when they go to advance to their run, they would leave into the lane and head right out the door and then complete a lap going inside, okay? So we have it set up so the distances are equal for this reason, hence why we have this indoor track here set up. Um, as far as the scaled athletes go, you guys will be completing the same amount of runs, but have the different movement standards for that. Everybody will be holding on to a band all the way through this workout. This is gonna be maybe our little bit longer test, a lot of body weight movements, and most importantly, an opportunity to strategize and break up work with your partners, with the exception of that run, which you must do together. We're super excited for this one, guys. It's gonna be a fun test to watch. Have fun.